Leeds. Now, there is some football as well tonight. Cheltenham got a very important game away to South End. Six games without a win for the Robins now, seen them slip down to seventh in the table. As far as the Championship's concerned tomorrow, uh, Bristol City's need for points is becoming uh, a little bit critical now. Uh, they are away to Derby County, and after the midweek games, they've dropped to just one point above the relegation zone. Uh, elsewhere, Bournemouth against Yeovil, and in League Two, I guess it'll be interesting to see how Swindon Town react to their Wembley defeat last weekend. Uh, they've got a local derby against Bristol Rovers tomorrow at the county ground, and both managers are keen to make something of a statement. We have a much more reason to win this game because the, the, the stadium will be nearly full. Because we have a much more reason, because only with the anger we have to win this game. Only with the anger, not with the quality, that which is three, ten times better than Bristol. I think what we have to do is we have to be aggressive, but it has to be controlled aggression. You know, we, aggression I talk about is towards the ball, not towards the opposition, or towards the, 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 the referee or any of that. You know, I think we will accept no nonsense in that respect. You know, um, we go there and we compete, but you know, it's with the ball that we want to be aggressive. The League Two derby game between Swindon and Bristol Rovers ended in a goalless draw. The hosts had the better of the first half, Alan Connell hitting the bar, but Rovers held on for a point. Paolo Di Canio's side remaining top of League Two. Torquay's win moved them to just a single point off the leaders Swindon. Paolo Di Canio's side were looking to restore their four-point lead when they welcomed Bristol Rovers along the M4. Paolo Di Canio called his Swindon players lions after their pursuit of a 12th straight home league win. But it didn't transpire against their resilient local rivals, who were helped by Town's way with finishing. After the disappointment of the Johnson's Paint Trophy final, the closest they came to a morale-boosting victory was before the break, but Alan Connell could only hit the bar. Try as they might, the Robins could not break keeper Scott Bevan in the Rovers' goal, even when substitute Paul Benson went close with a diving header. So, a frustrating day for Swindon, who, having had the lion's share of this stalemate, are still king to the League Two jungle. Swindon drew a blank against Bristol Rovers at the county ground. Alan Connell hit the crossbar in the first half, with Paul Benson coming close in the second. On you. Excellent. Right, more of the promotion chases now, starting with Swindon in a West Country derby. Swindon, top of League Two, an excellent value in our bang for your buck stats. Bristol Rovers, a mid table in both. This was a good point for Mark McGee's team. Swindon's lead at the top is now down to two points. But how Alan Connell missed here, I just don't know. Swindon's first league draw since mid December. Their opponents that day, Bristol Rovers. Paolo Di Canio's Swindon may have been beaten at Wembley last weekend. But the real prize is the League Two title. Such a prize might mean the Italian gets a Swindon to two to go with his West Ham artwork, but there was much more artisan about the visit of Bristol Rovers. In a less than satisfying first half, the best moment of the match came five minutes before the break. How Alan Connell didn't add to his 11 of the season will remain a county ground mystery. With a four-point advantage on second place with two games in hand, Swindon can afford to take chances. Joe Devera pushing up from the back to get the shot in over the bar. Connell keen to atone for his error in the second half, but he'd been denied at the near post by Rovers' Scott Bevan. It's now 21 games since Swindon were beaten at the county ground. They didn't look likely to lose this one, but even breathtaking skill like this from Raffaella De Vita couldn't find them a goal. From the bench, Paul Benson would try his luck. His header at the near post, not able to make it seven goals in 11 appearances. 0-0 to De Canio's frustration. Swindon's lead cut to two points, but with those games in hand, they still look a certain bet for automatic promotion.